it's fine. This isn't going to be one of those jobs of, you know, I nod my head and you hit it type thing. Um, well, good morning everyone and welcome once again to Where Am I? And once again, I'm up at the allotment plot. Uh, today is Tuesday. Um, I've been away for a, a long weekend, which has been seeing some friends, which has been lovely. I feel absolutely exhausted. We had a six and a half hour drive yesterday back home. Um, so yeah, I'm exhausted, but there's jobs to be done. Uh, one of them is to get some, I've got some compost from a farmer, which I will show you that in a minute. And we're gonna get that on the raised bed. And I also got some car uh, cardboard, which was recommended. Uh, so I need to get those on the other raised beds. Um, I need to repair a raised bed. There's a, oh, do you know what, there's just loads to do. There is loads to do. But we have some glorious weather today and for the rest of the week. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on because I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna get some seeds in the ground as soon as possible. And hopefully we might grow some plants at this allotment this year um, in and amongst all the weeding, uh, which there is still lots of that to do. So yeah, let's crack on. I'm gonna put the overalls on just so I don't get too, uh, too messy. Um, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna crack on like I said, so um, let's get going. I'm exhausted. I need to start. I'm exhausted already. I need to open up the body tunnel. I need to stand up. Come on, boy. Oh. Right. right. So here's the allotment plot as we left it with a load of weeds that have been plucked down here, uh, which was from down the side there. I need to water my potatoes today. Here's the raised bed that I need to sort out. But let's go and have a look at this composty stuff. I hope it's going to be okay. I've only got a little bit um, to do, probably maybe one, possibly two raised beds. I don't know how good it is, but I'm going to give it a go. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm going to give it a go once I can find it. Where is it? Here it is. So, here it is here. So apparently the farmer uses this on his, on his stuff. Um, so I'm gonna spread all this out on that top raised bed and see how we get on. But I need to fix the raised bed, which is there. The one that I broke last time. Hopefully, do that today. Um, there is so much to do, and we're now in spring. Happy spring, everyone! Uh, we are now in spring as of what Sunday. Um, so I need to crack on. I really need to crack on and get this done. I might get a sieve, a uh, sieve, a sieve, um, to sieve the compost when it goes into the carrot bin and parsnip bin at the top there to, to hopefully help them grow straight uh, but it seems like I've done a lot of work but it doesn't look like I've done a lot of work it seems very messy right that's enough chatting as you can see absolutely beautiful day Light breeze here today, which is nice, keep it nice and cool. Let's get to work. Right, I have got my overalls on, and now before I remove the pallet from the top bed over there somewhere, I don't know, um, and I start moving the, the compost, which is down there. See how messy my plot is? It was looking kind of tidy at one point. Um, I need to find a shovel. Now, I know what you're all thinking. You couldn't even find a rake last time. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure the shovel is in here. <coughs> right, what's this? Oh, crikey. This shed needs to be sorted out. That's oh, a fork. It's about to be a fork, isn't it? Oh, days. Right. Got something. It sounds like it sounds like a shovel. 
It's a shovel. Yeah, it's a shovel. Yes. Woo right, okay. I don't know if you can see me or not. Um, but walking down with a shovel, down to the bag, bringing it back up again and so on, it's taking a bit of time. So I'm just going to walk down there. The bag's about a quarter of a ton, half a ton, something like that, um, apparently. So I'm just going to grab it and see if I can drag it up here because it's taking too much time, to be fair. Right, dear people, there is my first no dig. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, I think I've done it enough. Um, I will double check. Um, but it's very wet and clumpy. It's the only way I can explain it. So maybe once the air and the sun's been on it, it'll dry out and it'll be a bit easier to rake and it won't rake it in such big clumps and obviously as the cardboard breaks down it won't be so slidey on it uh, but that's my first no dig Woohoo! Um, so yeah I don't have much left and I've got to do all of that still so I think I'm gonna need a bigger order than the quarter of a ton that I got delivered uh, by quite a bit I think um, so next job I think what I'm going to do next job is put the cardboard down on the raised bed, the next one with the pallet on at the moment. So get that all covered and then empty that bag onto it. Seems simple enough. Uh, yeah, now cardboard. Check out this. Boom, there is the polytunnel. We can't see O'Malley yet because he's covered in cardboard. We got quite a bit of uh, cardboard um, so I'm gonna go through some now uh, make sure I've got the side tape and all that malarkey off no side tape no staples etc um, no plastic um, and then I'm gonna get that raised bed down there done once I've done that one then I'm gonna come down here rake down here so it's all nice and clean and tidy it's quite windy so uh, I think it's a bit messy so rake down there get all that clean get the potatoes down that side um, and then we'll see what kind of time we've got left because uh, I do really need to tidy the plot I mean there's weeds and bags and everything everywhere so plenty to do um, note to anybody that's got an allotment the hotter weather is on its way apparently so obviously this is the UK <laughs> um, make sure you've got plenty of water with you all right let's uh let's get moving in a grooving oh actually if anybody is watching this who is visually impaired or blind like myself um you are gonna have to get when you do a no dig to make sure you've got all the um cardboard covered you are gonna have to get down and dirty with it um i got down on my hands and knees and moved the compost around my hand so i could feel where it was maybe thin uh or there was just exposed co uh, cardboard um and you're probably what looking at this now going uh you've missed a bit um Probably a good chance I, I have. Um, anyway, yeah, don't be afraid to get down and dirty with your plot. Let's get on to the next one. Right, dear people, bed number two has got cardboard on it. Woo! Look at that. And I know there's a few gaps, um, as, you, I, as you can probably tell. Um, that's only because the cardboard is blowing around in the wind. Um, so I will cover those gaps in a second before I put the rest of this compost down here by my feet. There it is. Um, on there. So happy, happy days. Right, now, I'm going to give everyone a gardening tip. Well, not everyone, but those that are maybe new to no dig and I know what you're thinking oh my god Wayne you've only just started how can you give anybody a gardening tip when you need all the help you can get sunshine but I kind of feel it would be uh, be wrong of me uh, to ignore my 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 gardening duties <laughs> um, so my tip is if you're gonna do a no dig and you need cardboard of course use the cardboard that you get you've got at home recycle it and so on but when you get cardboard delivered to your house for a package it's usually covered in tape but the, the cardboard boxes that you can get from the shop 
um, are not. They're kind of like folded in differently. Um, there might be a little bit of tape, or but so they might also be glued as well, um, which means it's a lot easier. You're not there trying to pick off loads of tape all the time. So if you're going to do a no dig and you need loads of cardboard, shops are the way to go forward, supermarkets. Um, because when I was doing this one over here, uh, I was sat for ages on peeling all the tape and stuff because we had it from home. But it was this one here, um, I wasn't, which is happy, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. So yes, cardboard from the supermarkets. And that is where am I's very first gardening tip. So came a lot sooner than I expected as well. <laughs> Let's get that soil on. So as you can see, bed number two is now looking like bed number, we're gonna call this one bed number one, bed number two. So bed number one, cardboard down, compost on top, lovely job, brilliant. Bed number two is kind of looking like bed number one did at the beginning of the day. We've got the cardboard down and then we put the compost on and guess what, we ran out of compost. Yes. <sighs> Dear oh dear oh dear, I'm not having much luck with this no dig amount of compost malarkey that's going on. But I'm learning, I think, with the rest of the raised beds that I have, I think mm, there's three or four left to do. Um, so I'm going to need about at least a ton, maybe a ton and a half of compost. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go maybe for a ton next time instead of like a quarter. Um, so yeah, we're... The no dig is slow, um, but it's it's all right. It's okay. So um, you learn, you live and you learn, don't you? Next year, you know, I will be ready. Yes. Um, so yes, I need to get my hands on some more compost, which I'll try and sort out tonight. But it is quite expensive, really, um, for the amount that we need. So I need to look into that to find out how to do it better, and also to get my own, uh, like make my own. Um, Yes. Uh, right, next job is to weed and rake, uh, rake and hoe, sorry, down the side of the polytunnel, which we've done. Uh, Zachary and I, I um, weeded down here the other day, um, last time we were here. So I'm going to just rake it all down and make it short, it's all nice and tidy. Where is the polytunnel? Oh, right. Okay, polytunnel's a bit closer than I thought. Um, yes, so Zachary and I weeded down there, so I'll just do a little bit more. Give it a good rake, give it a good hoeing over, and then I will move the potatoes into their new home, which will be down this side of the polytunnel, and then give them a nice water and settle them in nicely. So uh, yeah, let's, let's crack on and do that. And there we have it. Okay, still a bit messy, but I was just like, in this wind, picking up weeds and just lobbing them, they're just blowing right back. So I've given it a little rake, and I've got the potatoes down the sides. Uh, I'll check the soil very very gently there's no i don't think there's any growth as of yet uh but i will get my wife to double check when she comes and picks me up because uh, they have been in for a week uh, the compost is still quite moist uh which is good um so i'll only give them a uh, very light watering just because we have got a couple of days of of hot sun coming um to just make sure that they're okay i don't want to over water them um so yeah so that's the potatoes done in their place and i'll put them at the far end because um, they're already uh, uh, early season ones, and I'm, I'm thinking that I can just keep bringing them down, um, get a couple more bags for for uh, kind of like um, second earlies and and uh, and so on. God, that wind today! Oh, it's horrible. Um, so that's that. The next job I'm going to do is get this uh, place tidied up. So that uh, dumpy bag, that white dumpy bag. Uh, somewhere, I don't know where, it's here somewhere. Uh, we will get that one opened up and put all these weeds, the black bin liners that I've got weeds in, they can all, it can get emptied in there. Just get all these weeds picked up, get this place looking more like a, an allotment and less like a tip. Because <laughs> it does look like a tip, doesn't it? I mean, there's pallets everywhere, cardboard all over the place now, <laughs> black bin liners. Oh, dear me. And they say gardening's relax. It is relaxing. I'm having a great time. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Where Am I? Um, there is so, so much to come. And I've got some amazing ideas, which I cannot wait to get into. Um, but I just need to get this place a little bit ship shape uh, before I can um, 
crack on with those um which you know I'm up here three, four times a week, possibly even more this week with the weather being so lovely. Um, so yeah, please do subscribe and I will be posting hopefully three to four videos a week. That's the aim. Uh, obviously, uh, having a young family, that can change from three to four to one to two. Um, but we will get it done. So yes, please, like I said, do subscribe. And uh, that's enough uh, jibber-jabber for myself. I need to get back to work. Right, everyone. Now, I was just about to get, start getting ready to tidy up, as I said. I came over to the shed to do something, and uh, to get something, and I looked in it and I can see light. And I can see the light coming through. <laughs> Lost it now, ah, oh, shoot. There. Uh, I don't know if that's picking up. There's a hole in it. I mean, I can see the, sl I know the slats are loose, and I can see the light coming through the slats at the back of the shed. But there's also a hole on the left hand side. Oh my goodness me. How this shed stood up in that storm we had, uh, what, two, three weeks ago. Uh, so it has really surprised me. Um, so I have got a lot of work to do on this shed. Um, but yeah, they're crying out loud. <laughs> Thought I'd just share that with you. Oh dear, let's go tidy. Right, so the next job that I'm gonna do is to repair the raised bed. Um, now I know it goes this way because there's mud on this bit here. Um, on this side, so this bit's the bit that's been in the ground. Don't know what you can see, I'm sorry, cameraman skills are shocking. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try with a hammer uh, to repair it, basically. Um, we're gonna try uh, and do this. Now I know what you're thinking. If I'm in shot, I'm in shot. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, I know what you're probably thinking, but it's not gonna be one of those jobs of, you know, I nod my head and you hit it. Um, this should go quite nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't know. All right, so I'm thinking if I just line this up, Oh, is it? oh no, it's cracked there. Oh, sugar. Nuts. This is going to have to be a big, ouch, that's sharp. This is going to have to be a big repair job, isn't it? Let's, hang on, no, hang on, that needs to go. Where does it need to go? It needs to go there. Alright, so is that. Are you thinking it's going to go there? No, that needs to go there. So if that goes there. You can't see the foot. But I'm gonna try it. Uh, I don't think the hammer's gonna do it. <coughs> Where's the hammer? Give it a go, see if we can just knock it into place. But what's happened is the screws on the other side. Um, basically have come out of the wood and it's still in the other wood. I'm going to have to re remove them. And it's holding. Just gently tapping it. Well, that was a little gentle tap me. Right, how are you going to fix the other one? Ah! Oh, did that come out? No, it's not. Right, come with me and have a look down here. Oh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, where's the phone? There's the phone. Right, can you see here? Here, the screw is there in the wood, but the screw is also here in, the, in the, this wood. 
Give me a little. Give me a little tap. No, actually, I don't want to do a good job. I don't want to just bodge, bosh it, bodge, bodge it. <sighs> right, let's crack on to the next job. We'll have to come back to. Oh, I've lost the camera. You idiot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, you're such an idiot. Oh, sorry. Okay. Right, next job. I don't know out of how many I've done. Uh, Near tidy up the poly tunnel. It's not messy, messy, it's just we got a lot of cardboard, so I want to get this all sorted out and stuff. Um, and then I can start thinking about getting some bits and pieces in the raised beds here and getting it sorted. But I'll just quickly show you this. Um, yeah, so he says, um, there, oh, oh. this here is a tub of screws um which someone was selling on facebook for three pound and i thought well i'm gonna need them i need gonna need screws for building stuff and whatnot um so i went and got them so a nice amount of screws in there um for three pounds perfect Beautiful weather here today at the allotment, nice and dry and warm uh, with quite a strong breeze, um, but a nice breeze, um, keeps you cool. And as you can see, the allotment is starting to look maybe a bit more like an allotment and less like a dump, I hope. <laughs> Gonna get loads of comments there going, nope, still looks, still looks like a dump. Um, and there's still so much to do. That fence definitely needs to be done. It is annoying me. Um, this fence here, not so bad, but still needs to be done. I do need to get inside that compost bin and have a look. Um, see what's going on there. Somewhere around there anyway, you, you can see it, hopefully. Um, so, there is the dumpy bag full of weeds, and there is a lot of them. But as we walk up the path, obviously these raised beds here still need to be attended to. Um, which will, I will probably do in my next time up here. Just so that they're done, really. Um, and then as we venture up, uh, I think it's, oh, trigger, I think it's here. Uh, let's just check and make sure that that is carpooled. Yep, right, okay. So here is uh, the raised bed that is now covered in cardboard um, with a tiny bit of compost, so I need to get more compost for that one. Um, and then my first no dig bed is over here. Yay! Uh, happy about that. Um, but it does kind of show that the smallest raised bed took up took that amount of compost so it, it kind of gives me an idea of what I need for the other three I think we've got four raised beds maybe five um, so yeah so that is that which I'm happy about the path is a bit cleaner now we've raked it down the polytunnel side let's find the polytunnel where are you there it is down the polytunnel side we've got our potatoes in the sacks which is cool Oh, actually, quick question. Um, oh, I've got to find my way back down. Here we go. All right. Quick question, people. Now, uh, sorry. Um, let me find my dumpy bag there. Right, okay, so here. Now, this here is a sack for potatoes. And I've got three of them from, you know, the garden before. Um, and they're only a year old. So can I reuse these for potatoes this year? Like, will that be okay? Because I know sometimes they say, don't plant plants in the same bed as before because of diseases and stuff. So can I use those bags again? Um, please do leave a comment and let me know, which would be awesome. Uh, right, let's venture back up here. Um, because if I can, then I can, you know, get, I've got them ready then for the uh, secondarilies. Right, there's a polytunnel and there's a big wind gust. Right, yes, so we have got the uh, potatoes in the bags down there. Awesome. And then up 
into the polytunnel. It's looking a bit more like a polytunnel now. Um, so that's nice and tidy as well. But I do need to put something in these raised beds. I really do. Um, and there's O'Malley. Afternoon O'Malley. Uh, yeah, he is in the sea of courgettes. Because uh, that's where I think I might put the courgettes. Um, yeah, so that is me so far today. It's been great. I have loved it so much. I had a weekend away. We travelled all the way up to Essex. So from um, so from where we are in Plymouth in Devon, uh, all the way up there is a five and a half to six and a half hour drive, depending on traffic, etc. Um, so we've had four days away, which has been absolutely awesome. And uh, we got back yesterday around about six o'clock. So I thought I would be absolutely exhausted. And when I got here, I was feeling a little bit like, oh... Uh, but I've cracked on with it and it has been absolutely brilliant. I am buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait to get back here and, and carry on, really. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking the, I've got all of them on that side to weed, the two free raised beds down that side to weed, and that should be all the weed and done. And then from there, you know, we can sort out this. Yep, say no more. Um, and also get the plants, get some seeds in the ground, get some plants in the in the polytunnel. Um, yeah, it's all it's all coming together nicely. I'm really loving it. So um, to everybody that has subscribed, thank you. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, where am I? We have got so many adventures planned, not just here at the allotment, but going out and doing some photography and things like that. Um, so yeah, please do uh, subscribe and. Um, leave me a comment let me know what you think of the job i've done so far um be truthful and if you if you see something that i haven't done or haven't mentioned and you think it's important please again do comment uh because to be fair it's going to be a lot of trial and error but with all the advice that i've been given so far has really helped me along and the more advice i can get and the more knowledge then hopefully the better job i can i can do so yeah right i think i might see what else there is to do, potter around a little bit before my wife comes and picks me up. Right, dear people, thank you very much for watching Where Am I Today? Um, I've done a little bit more potter, pottering around, um, but I didn't want to tackle any of the big jobs straight away just because I know that I'm going home <laughs> to have a nice hot shower and possibly a nice cold drink as well. Um, so I didn't really want to tackle that until I've got a faux day ahead of me, which will be uh, possibly tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we could come up. Uh, definitely Thursday, definitely Friday. Um, so yeah, I could be doing a, a four days in a run, and then if the children want to come up over the weekend, it could be quite tiring actually thinking about it. Um, I feel brilliant. I feel absolutely brilliant. As I was saying to you earlier, I was I was absolutely shattered getting back from from the East Coast uh, last night. Um, but I am absolutely buzzing. I feel brilliant. It's it's been great. It's been a great day. It's a lot of hard work. Um, just get outside and enjoy nature everyone that's all I can say um, and if you have a dream go for it because this is this is just wonderful wonderful um, so yes yeah, so I'm gonna stop rambling on um, if you haven't already please do subscribe that'd be awesome leave us a comment let us know what you think check out the latest other videos if you haven't already and uh, yeah keep an eye out there should be plenty more videos coming this week let know the rest of this whole allotment journey you know it's brilliant so can't wait to get some some more seeds in the ground so uh, yeah until next time uh happy uh happy planting and um i'll probably see you tomorrow bye now right just quickly before i go home is it bad that i'm in my second week um and i'm already kind of thinking to myself if he gives up his plot next door <laughs> Well, he gives up his plot next door. Um, that I might extend. Is it is it too early to be thinking of an extension? Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs>